It's Thursday, October 24th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. The Birmingham Waterworks Board proposes a preliminary budget that includes a 4.9% rate increase. WBRC-TV reports the increase, if approved, will raise rates by a little more than $2 per month for what the utility considers an average residential customer. The rate hike, submitted yesterday, is the largest increase in the past five years. The board also proposes that $10 million be used to begin buying automated meters. The new meters are part of a program to move the utility to automated meter reading by early 2028. The proposed budget will be presented in a public hearing on November 4th. The board is expected to vote on the plan in a meeting following that hearing. A man from Coleman receives a sentence of two and a half years in prison for threatening to kill election workers. Brian Jerry Ogstad sent multiple threatening messages on Instagram to an account run by Maricopa County Elections in Arizona. The threats were sent in August 2022 during and following the state's primary elections. The 60-year-old Ogstad will also have to pay a $1,000 fine and undergo three years of supervised release, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Arizona. A spokesperson for the FBI said threats of violence toward election workers and threats to the democratic process cannot become normalized. And Alabamians are invited to offer input in updating the state's bicycle and pedestrian plan. The Alabama Department of Transportation will hold five public workshops across the state. The events will give people an opportunity to learn more about the plan and to share their perspective on bicycling and pedestrian needs. Two of the workshops will be held in central Alabama, the first in Tuscaloosa on Monday, another will be held in Birmingham on Wednesday. In 2022, Alabama had more than 100 pedestrian fatalities and 14 bicycle fatalities. For more information, see aldotnews.com. Aldot is a program sponsor on WBHM, but our news and business departments operate independently. You'll find more news anytime at wbhm.org. You can also hear our local newscast during WBHM's broadcast of NPR's Morning Edition and the afternoon's All Things Considered. That's each weekday on 90.3 WBHM, Birmingham.